Alright, here we are. 3319. There she is. Psych, it's right here. Do you want me to <laughs> Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Big old renovation project for y'all here, right? This thing needs a lot of love, but it's got quite a bit of potential. 3319 East 145th, Cleveland 44120. Now, specifically right now, today, as I talk to you guys at this very moment, the property has not been condemned by the city of Cleveland. However, I would imagine uh, that is, um, you know, a very real possibility. Now, you know, I don't know how familiar everybody who's watching me right now is with uh, working with the government and then more specifically working with like the Cleveland government. Uh, but there are usually two words that are never utilized in the same sentence. That's government and efficient. OK, the Cleveland government is not that efficient. Right. So the property absolutely should be condemned right that's what that is for for properties just like this uh has not yet been done if everything like works how it's supposed to it should be getting condemned soon but it is the cleveland government those folks are not necessarily uh top of the line when it comes to getting things done and getting things done quickly right that's just the way it works right so it may or may not fall through the cracks in either scenario you need to plan for a complete renovation right you need to plan to redo pretty much everything on this particular property right you got arvs over here up around the 100k range or so right so there's definitely meat on the bone. With you being able to buy it right now, cash as is, no questions asked, nineteen nine, dollars uh, and then go in and do a massive renovation. Uh, you could turn it into a great Section 8 rental. You could potentially flip it to an owner-occupant. There's just a lot of uh, things that can be done here, right? So there's definitely meat on the bone to do this, but it is by no means going to be a small renovation. As you can see, uh, just from the, the small amount of footage that we're showing you here, you need to pretty much do everything, right? So we're only going to be fielding as is cash offers. That does not mean I don't want you guys out there doing your due diligence, right? You can go to the property, uh, scope it out, bring your contractors with you. Just send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. You hit us up with an email. We will get Get you in there the same day if you hit us up before five o'clock if you hit us up after five o'clock we'll set you up to get you in there the very next day from there you want to put together your scope of work uh you know like inspections contractors the whole nine guys i understand that's what you want but you can't write me an offer contingent on inspection or contingent on your contractor's bid okay i want you to do the due diligence i want you to get the inspection done i want you to bring the contractor there because you have to unless you are like a seasoned gristled vet who's renovated these kind of houses many many times you're going to need to bring those people with you but i ain't taking it off the market while you dilly dally and try to figure that shit out right so you need to bring those people with you up front and then at that point you can issue me uh, an email telling me, hey, I'm good to go, 19.9, let's rock and roll, and then I'll write up the contract, and they'll have none of those contingencies in there, right? So do all the due diligence now, folks. Sales at HoltonWise.com will get you, your contractor, your inspector, your structural engineer, your electrician, your plumber, whoever the hell you want to go in there with you, we will get them in there right now with you before you submit that offer because once it comes time to taking this off the market, it better be a clean as is offer, no questions asked. Let's roll. Closed doors up here. Yeah, you want me to open them? Up? Yeah. Jola, come on, Esteban. The floor is wet here, and be careful. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This room's. Ah, oh, this one's got a fucking sink in here. Man, this room's retro spot. You get a little wet bar in your bedroom. You get one of those in here too. I hear it dripping currently. Here's the shitter. Holy shit. This place is a treasure. Where are the Playboys at? Right? I was thinking that too. I saw all the Esquires downstairs. Jeans. 
Jazz bags. <laughs> Jazz bags. There's a wallet in here. Fuck. I'm feeling woozy. You can't just walk by that. What the fuck? Oh, step up. Step up to the streets. Jazz mags, but no nudie mags. What the hell is Essence? Uh, some kind of music thing, I think. Alright. Oh, the Time Magazine with Abe Lincoln? Fuck yeah, dude. Here, can you hold this? I got this. <laughs> Did you fill the, every room already? Mr. Matthew? Yeah. What's up? You filmed every room? Yeah, you can just kind of walk through it if you want to. Fucking wet bar. Hell yeah. Nice fancy jacket. Some holes in the ceiling. As it do. It do be do. Shooby dooby do. Really cool. Yeah, I didn't go into that corner because you can see in here yeah. actively leaking. Which means I see it dripping in that yeah. corner. Alright. Thank you, sir. You we'll are a hero. Yeah, we can go look, yeah, but. You can go to guys, uh, yeah, he'll love it. Are those panties? In the window? In the window. I wouldn't be surprised. I went in the closet and they had, like, something else. Some random piece of clothing stuffed in the hole. Hell yeah. Polka dots. <laughs> St <laughs> Yo! Whoa. That right there is hillbilly oh. safety. And he even clipped in a ground. <laughs> what do you got? <sighs> this place. Alright. How rough is it? Did you go down? Dude, it might not be worth going down there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the whole kitchen floor is covered in piss. It's probably just raccoon piss. Got the same raccoons. <laughs> this, that's a huge fucking jump, dude. Take that. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, uh, the spooky sex engine basement. Can you use all that uh, real quick? Okay. What are you surprised? Man, this basement's fucking pretty dungeony. Is it the pits though? I don't know if I'd say that. It's pretty uh It's spooky. Yeah, it, it appears pretty good. Yeah. Some scrap metal on the ground if you want to, you know, get into that. I'm good, dude. I'll save my 27 cents.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.